Hello, this is Eric from labofcoding.com. In the last video, we created the endpoint for allowing users to create new to dos in our project. In this video, we're going to pick up from that and we're going to style our form. For now, it's displayed in the to do template, but its display is not that good looking. So, we'll use uh, Bootstrap to do the styling. But first, uh, if you go into the to do template, you'll find that we check we are checking if the form has errors and we're then we are displaying the errors. But uh, Django also display if the error happens on a field, Django will display that error on that field. So for now, like we have the errors are being duplicate shown twice, both on the form dot errors and also on the field itself. For example, if we have an invalid date. The error will be displayed twice uh, the form dot errors that we have and also on the field itself so having the error on the field itself alone is better so we can drop the conditional check there and let's refresh our page let's enter the invalid date again yeah see the error is being displayed on the uh, due date field only so we are going to use with a bootstrap to uh, style the form but uh, instead of writing the twitter bootstrap form styling ourselves we are going to use a third party package known as crispy forms to style our form so instead of using the form.sp uh, method to render the form we will render the form manually let's say form.title.label and so forth and then apply the crisp uh, and then apply the bootstrap classes to each of these the label and the input field but that will be will be writing a lot of mundane code so let's use the twitter bootstrap ah sorry the django crispy form uh a third party package which is used to um make it easy to style and work with forms in your django project so the way that we have uh we have created custom uh, our app, we created the main application Django has the concept of third party application whereby if you are working on some code and you feel that it's good and it can be useful to others you create a third party application which uh, users will uh, install and have it in their projects so uh, Django Crispy Form is one of those uh, third party apps and there are lots and lots of other uh, packages almost on anything, any conceivable, uh, conceivable problem. So it's up to you really to look if there are some, there is a third party package which solves your problem and try to re reuse your code instead of uh, reinventing the wheel. So let's uh, go to the browser and search for Django crispy forms. So let's go to their documentation website. So the way that you work with third party application, usually mostly, in most cases, usually you will install them in your virtual environment or in your system. So let's do a pip install. I already have it installed on my system. Uh, so it's version one. 1.7.2 as a good practice we should always make sure that you update your requirements dot file with the new packages that we so that will be django crispy forms and it's version 1.7.2 so we can save that one and let's follow the instruction so after installing i told to add it to your uh, install app setting so let's go to the install apps and add the crispy forms package. So I'm having an empty line between my apps and the Django apps and the third party apps that I'm adding in my project so that it's clear to me which app belongs to which section. So after we have installed the app, the Django crispy forms comes with a, uh, a filter which you can use to style your form it has a filter and it has a, a template tag 
which you can also to use to sell your form. The filter is quite simple and easy to use, but the template tag is, uh, it needs a bit of writing of code, but it gives you some level of flexibility. In our case, we'll only work with the uh, crispy filter, but you can look in the Django crispy documentation and see how you can use the uh, crispy template tag. So another thing of the setup, uh, you should add a setting in your settings.py file known as the crispy template pack. This just, just tells uh, Django crispy forms the CSS framework that you're using. It's either bootstrap or uh, bootstrap 3, bootstrap 4, uniform or foundation. In our case, we're using bootstrap 4. So we'll say our crispy template pack is bootstrap 4. So that when it's telling the form, it will know which to use uh, the styling classes of bootstrap 4 and not bootstrap 3 or another bootstrap uh, version. So let's save that and let's go to our template. Uh, so to load, to use the crispy tag, we first need to load the crispy template tag. So let's load them. I call crispy forms tags and then let's apply our filter on the form instance that we have uh, added in our context so let's just say crispy and that will be good uh, if all is well our form will be rendered correctly with bootstrap 4 styling classes so let's go here and let's refresh sorry you can cancel that one Awesome. You can see that our form has been rendered a uh, bit well. Uh, we may customize it a bit, but for now, I think that's good for now. So let's try to um, create a new to do. Just say uh, this one is 23. Say. Start the description of let's save that yeah our to do has been saved properly and it's in our to-do list so we can try to add another to do sorry let's go back So that one was to do to do. So let's create a new to do with an invalid date and see how the errors will be rendered. Uh, you see, Bootstrap 4 has also uh, cast, uh, simplified the way that we are displaying the errors, and it's a bit better and more intu intuitive to the user who is using our project. So that's it for now. We have still our form using crispy Django crispy forms. We'll pick up from this in the next video. Thanks for watching.